Hey guys, drinking some whale's blood. This is the XRP Cowboy. Hi, this is Billy. The Cowboy's got a gag ball in my mouth right now. I just moved away, but he's about to wrap me alongside my head with a fucking baseball bat so I can't speak anymore. We may like the beer a little too much. You know, when you look at it like this, there's two cans. <laughs> See, I'm healthy. I'm drinking my Coke Zero. <laughs> but um, here's my office desk. Fucking wine and fucking weed and fucking, I'm just kidding, um, smokes in a space heater. But the point is, is <clears throat> every time I think of you, I always hold my breath And I'm still standing here And you're miles away And I'm wondering why you left And I spend my time Thinking about you And it's almost driving me wild I ain't missing you at all I ain't missing you since you've been gone away, I'm missing you, no matter what my friends say. This motherfucker, FTX, millionaire that everyone was sucking his dick, we're finding out now, he was probably responsible for the Luna crash, and CZ Finance set this bitch up. You know, you had Brian Armstrong talking his book about, oh, yeah, we were looking at it. We're not interested in it, but this is why it should be in regulated exchanges that aren't off shore. So come to Coinbase. He was thinking, fuck you guys, you dumb motherfucking investors that weren't with us. Now you learned your fucking lesson and you're coming with us. So I would say, you know, go to a good exchange, just not Coinbase. But, um... I mean, why would you? He was like, oh, I'm sad for all the investors. Sure you are, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm always sad when someone goes and gets a haircut at the salon across the street and they cut their fucking ear off. Yeah, that makes me real sad. It's like you should have known better. I want to say, yeah, you got to watch what you say. These fucking bitch. You know, a bitch can be anybody. I know a lot of dudes. I know a lot of. Um, women, I know a lot of days. I know a lot of fucking everyone that are bitches. And I know a lot of good people, too. You know? We're all people, you know? We're all fucking connected. We're one. You know, the first time I went to New York City, it was New Year's Eve, and it was fucking fun and stuff, but I chased my friend around who was wasted, forced, and... He was just walking down streets, talking to everybody in a belligerent way. And I'm just thinking, I'm apologizing for him. But I'm thinking at some point, the cowboy's going to have to fucking stand up. Because he's not going to let his friend get hurt. His friend's not getting hurt. Because he's my friend. But the thing is, is I lost a fucking tooth that night. But um, it wasn't because... <laughs> tell you why let that fucker up a little too early you know and there were beer bottles and people walking down the street with beer bottles and and I caught one but thing is is it worked out well for me in the end not so much the fucking guy that thought his beer bottles were fucking nunchucks but I lost a tooth so we both lost and that's what I was fucking afraid of now I wasn't afraid of it I just didn't want to go down that road. And every road I chased this dude down was that road walking back to our place. I knew it was coming, you know. I could see it from a mile away. Here I come again now, baby, like a dog in heat. You know, and, it, and it's, you know, I'm an adrenaline guy, and so I don't want that. But when, when that fucking, you know, when the shit finds me, or my friend finds it for me, you know, I get excited, 
And now the game plan chance. I quit apologizing. And I start being a cocky fucking asshole. You know, I'm I'm a part of the problem, but I'm wise enough to try to avoid that problem, which most people don't do. Usually, I try to avoid it, but I get weak. Oh, life. Staring at the ceiling, thinking I should get some sleep. If tomorrow never comes or something, hold on. Feeling like I'm heading for a breakdown. And I don't know why. Well, I'm not crazy. I'm just a little unwell. I know sometimes you can't tell. But just wait a while and baby, maybe you'll see a different side of me. Point is, is, you know, sometimes fucking shit happens and you can do everything you want to avoid it. But guess what? It still fucking happens. You know, I, I want to talk about Gary all the fucking time, but you know, last I I heard, um, I just saw something, a video that he got like a fucking big dildo stuck up his ass so deep he couldn't grab it anywhere. It like popped in, you know, he went past, he went past that point and he couldn't pull it out anymore. So he had to go to the hospital and when they ripped it fucking out, it wasn't something you'd want to see, but you know. I don't know if it's true or not. I just saw a video of it. But um, it made me happy. <laughs> you know, and it was beautiful. But the thing is, is, I mean, this motherfucker from FTX that Gary's having little lunch dates with, he fucked Luna, which killed the market. And then he fucked Binance as much as he could because... They believe he was, CZ believes he was responsible for that 650 fucking million dollar or whatever it was around there fucking hack that took the market down a little. And he figured that out. I, he probably figured it out by looking at CZ, uh, by fucking the books, you know? But maybe not. And now that little bitch, I know his name, but I, I can't remember it, is on the run. He's going the distance. But I don't think he's running from the SEC. I think he's running for murder, death, kill. (laughs) CZ. Okay? You don't take that kind of money and walk away from it. You know, you just don't. You don't walk away from it a better person, you know, than you were before you took it. When they find out you took it. Okay? Just saying. Like, subscribe, my dreamers, my roadies. We got some big things happening with the channel. And um, I think you're going to like it. Leave a comment.